Hi, I'm Ting and welcome back to my channel. Today you're joining me for a bit of a special vlog which I've put together to capture the Festival of Godwin, which was a series of mini events that took place in Birmingham as a bit of a send-off for a couple of friends of mine who are emigrating to Japan at the end of this year. They are the Godwins, hence the name. But anyway, hello Nick and I, Jan. Um, I wish you all the best for your exciting new life that you're going to start together in Japan. Please regret it and come back to the UK and see us soon because, you know, we're going to miss you. I've known Nick for 14 years and I've known Ai-chan for five in real life and an extra one sort of virtually. Um, they are part of a close group of friends of ours in Birmingham and they used to live sort of like quite close walking distance from us. Um, they won't be that close anymore because they'll be the other side of the world, but we're going to rely on technology and things called planes that can transport us to different parts of the planet so we can visit each other. Not great for the carbon footprint, admittedly. Friendship, human, contact, real life stuff. Um, you know, occasionally that will be good. So we will be doing that. And the weekend was really amazing because it was an opportunity to revisit some of the best places in Birmingham that we'd made memories over the last five years together. Um, it wasn't um, like a best of Birmingham by any means or anything like that and there were so many other places that we would have liked to have included um, but just physically didn't have the time to fit in. So yeah this is just like a little snapshot of happy places for us as um, a group of friends. It started off on Friday at Loki Wine, which sadly I couldn't make because I was up against a deadline with work and I was still furiously tapping away to keyboard and editing photos and all sorts. Um, by the time I'd finished, they were pretty much wrapping stuff up at Loki Wine anyway, so I basically headed straight to meet them at Hotel Duvan. We managed to get a nice seating area in the bubble lounge and just everyone just got to get together, shake off that work week peruse the wine menu and just, well, I had a, an espresso martini, of course, um, and basically just catch up and settle in for the night, which was really lovely. And also what was really wonderful about our visit to Hotel Duvan was we, through the fault of Hannah, I'm going to say it's all Hannah's fault. Um, hi Hannah, love you. Um, basically she couldn't decide what to drink and we ended up sort of having a conversation about what she could get and just perusing the menu. And before you knew it, we were at the bar asking about port and within seconds it somehow escalated into let's go down to the wine cellar with Nico the head sommelier and choose a vintage port to all share as a group. <laughs> so it had been on Nick's bucket list to visit the wine cellar at Hotel Duvan and you know chat to Nico about some of the wines that they they do have there so which you know that was great well done Hannah you managed to like sort that as a nice parting gift um, and we did actually get to share a really great port together which was lovely. I mean I'd never had a vintage port like that before, I'd never been to the wine cellar before and um, the fact that we all got to experience it for the first time together was really lovely. So yeah we did that and just basically chilled out for the evening. Saturday though we were heading off and starting our day with mini golf at Star City. It's something that we have done previously, we visited that golf course, well the mini golf course, <laughs> not a real one, like a full size thing. But there are two 18 hole courses there so it's reasonably sized like there's a lot to do there um anyway we went there to go and um, do one last round of golf <laughs> and nick got to use his coupon from when he did a hole in one on the 19th hole on his last visit and they accepted the voucher so he was able to get a free round of golf awesome um i did quite well because i got three hole in ones but yeah, I kind of sort of ruined all of that because by the time I got to the 19th hole, I seemed to have lost all coordination and, and use of any part of my body to be able to kind of hit the golf ball at all. So it, it went on embarrassingly long to the point that everyone was like, move out the way, Ting, we've got to all have a go at this. Um, and I wasn't the only one that was terrible, but I was definitely the worst at the 19th hole. Did not get a hole in one, could barely hit the ball. But anyway, that was a good laugh and thankfully I can laugh at myself about that, so that's okay. I didn't record that on camera and I'm slightly gutted that I didn't because it would have made really funny footage. Um, but, you know, we, we all have that memory in our hearts forever. After mini golf, we then headed back into town and we had lunch booked at Fumo. And it's a place where we have celebrated birthdays and milestones and like 
I went there after I did my um, ab sale. We went there for iChance birthday at one point, went there for Nick's birthday at one point. We've been there to celebrate new jobs. We had to have this as part of the festival in Godwin. Thankfully, they had a table that could squeeze us all in and we had some friends join us from London and various parts of the Midlands just all came together. So we had a lovely lunch. It was pretty good. I would have to say that despite the fact that my choices were greatly limited by the fact that I'm dairy free, um, what I could choose from and what I did have was excellent. So, you know, well done. After FUMO, um, we managed to squeeze in one quick group photo right at the very end of our visit. We headed to the Bureau Bar on Cornwall Row. It's a place where we have been for so many post-work drinks. It's a place where we have, um, well, we've gathered there so many times over the years since they've opened. We've had birthday parties there. It's where the ting thing started because Nick and I went for a drink there um, after I got made redundant and he was on gardening leave between jobs at the time. So I'd offer a drink and some lunch up on the roof terrace. It ended up being 10 hours of drinking and the start of the ting thing. So thank you, the Bureau Bar. We had some nice drinks there and a few other friends came along to say hello, join us for a couple of drinks. Some of the iChan's choir friends came along as well to say hello and we met some of um, Nick's work colleagues, like past and present type thing going on. <laughs> Everyone sort of like came and, and went as they could, which was a nice thing about having a series of events because you then don't have the whole trying to find one date and time that suits everyone. You can kind of allow people to drop by as and when they, they are available. So it was really lovely. I then got the munchies because I, I just realised that the only thing I ate all day was Fumo. So <laughs> I then made everyone do, well not everyone, I made a few people do a random unscheduled pit stop during the whole Festival of Godwin activities. Um, we went to McDonald's for chips. I did not vlog it, I was drunk and hungry um, and I just, yeah. Anyway, it was a pleasant enough stop. It is not part of the best of Birmingham um, and not a place where we've made special memories in the past with Nick and I, Chan. It was just, yeah, I was hungry. After that, it was time for bed really. And the next morning we rounded off the festival with a trip to Malmaison for Sunday brunch, which I've reviewed before on the blog. I'll Put a link up somewhere so you can see it if you're interested. Um, love the Malmais on Sunday lunch. The original plan was to go to Hotel Divan again for brunch but they couldn't accommodate our group because it was quite large. Malmaison thankfully could because they used the private dining area to put our group into um, and we had a really really lovely time. Some other friends came along um, to say hello and to join us for some food so they got a chance to say hello and spend some time with Nick and I-chan before they go. It was a really great lunch. I mean, it usually is at Malmaison anyway. I am rarely disappointed there. Um, on this occasion, I sadly had a bit of an incident with my food because they didn't clock when I said, I have a serious fruit allergy and if you feed me certain fruits, you'll be dialing 999 if I eat them. I go into um, anaphylactic shock with certain, uh, if I ingest certain fruits. Um, kiwis, bananas, peaches, melons, especially watermelon, um, are particularly dangerous to me. Um, and yes, unfortunately that wasn't quite understood, but yes, regardless, the rest of the meal was absolutely lovely. And that was kind of it for the Festival of Godwin. It's not it for our relationship though, it has to be said. Like I said, I can't wait to come and visit you guys in Japan and I will hope to take my camera with me and capture some of that as well. I don't really know how to end this to be honest because although this that like the vlog has to come to an end this isn't a goodbye see you later thanks for everything vlog the end this is a I just wanted a, an excuse to get sentimental look back and just laugh again at some of the many memories that we have made together and I hope that I get to drink amazing drinks and eat wonderful food and laugh again in your company for many, many years to come. And I hope that you want that too. I really hope we're not the reason you're running away to Japan. Like if, you, if you're going because you just, you, mm, there's easier ways to dump us, you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget you can subscribe if you would like to see more videos from the Ting Thing. 
Thanks. Bye.